Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Ring Chronicles. Today we have another ratchet video for you. But before we start, as always, if you find my videos helpful or informative, could you give me a like, share, and a subscribe? I would really appreciate that. Okay, today we have a Williams S51 Super Ratchet. Says Williams USA, Drop Forest, JH Williams and Co. There's the handle. The head. It looks like at one point they painted these like orange or red. You can see it looks like some so the, some of the paint is still still on it this is a half inch drive the williams s51 uh they made these for i think a good number of years i think they started making these in their early 30s and it went up it went up in probably to the 50s okay you see how it has the ring with the two holes to open it up and let me just say a word before we open this up about this Williams design uh, you gotta be have a lot of patience with these Williams usually if you find these they're gonna be old it's gonna be like maybe whatever 70 years old or more and they might have not never been serviced and these rings are going to be fused to the body this took me to open this up it took me like two hours of trying to open this ring up without without really damaging the holes because if you see some of these used you you find the holes will be all all like damaged elongated okay and i with this i also got this here's another williams super ratchet this is the s52 and i always like this williams design it looked it looked it always looked sleek to me like it was always perfectly round with the cross switch and the retention ring notches and it starts it starts thick and then it tapers down to a thin waist and a super narrowed handle this was another problem to open <laughs> it took me a lot of work to get this ring off and this one seemed to be in a lot better shape than this one but still that ring so just a word of warning if you buy these uh try to be careful taking these out because i've seen people who really like torn up these rings it looks like they took an air hammer and hammered them out and and they look horrible afterwards if you take a little time and patience you, you can get these rings off but it's gonna take some time and patience okay Let's open this one up. This one's already been pre-opened, so it's already loose. What I did is I took a, like a nail punch, or you can take like a, a flattened nail, put it in there, and then just take like, take like a small hammer. Let me see if I can find it. Here. This is what I did. I took this, put it in the hole, and, and put penetrant in the groove. And then again, carefully because I didn't want to damage the hole. And I did that for like a couple of hours. And I heated up the head a little bit, not not 
red hot or really hot just I heated it up a little bit tried it again kept putting penetrant in the groove kept hitting it back and forth and eventually eventually it gave Okay, this is what the ring looks like. It's a thick ring. You can see the grooves there, the threads. And you want to be careful not to damage the threads. That's another thing to to look out for because once the threads are gone, you know there's nothing to hold the hold in the 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 anvil here so it'll, it'll be useless after that but here's the gear and this gear is pretty stout this is like a heavy duty gear it has 24 teeth that's what the teeth look like Okay, and here's the inside of the head. You see the threads in there. See the threads here. Yeah, those are the ones you try to be careful with. And here's the pole sticking up. Okay, to break this down, you're gonna need this to cooperate, obviously, but what I do is I, I try to get the pole to where it's, it's sitting like this. So you wanna put the switch to where it's at this position. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. There you go. Okay, now you see the poles at like a 90 degree angle. And you see there's a hole on the side of the pole. In there is a little wooden, um, not wood, uh, metal. A little metal post that goes all the way through the pole. And it goes through the switch. It goes through the switch and this, the back of the switch. Okay, to get this out. I try to position the little, the little pole there where it's kind of in the middle so it won't be too much friction on one side of it. And, and there it just came out. It's probably going to be a lot harder to do that <laughs> when you first try it. It might be, it might be rusted in there. It might, you know, there might be a bunch of crud in there. So it might not be that easy. What I do, what I had to do when I first took it out. Let's see if I can find. Hold on. I had to grab a small screwdriver and try to pry it out, try to catch that the post and pry it out little by little. You know, real small screwdriver, try to catch some of it and try to pry it out and get it out like that. Okay, once you got the doll, that uh, metal post out, these switches should be, you should be able to get the switch out. Yep. Okay. Here it comes. It 
This is the switch. This is the hole in the switch where the the post goes through. And here's the back of the switch. Which you have to line up like that to get the post in. So everything lines up. And here's Here's the ball underneath the the, the paw. And there's a spring in here. Okay. I was having problems switching this, like the switch was really hard to switch. This doesn't look like the original spring. This looks like some homemade spring somebody put in there. Which is too I think is too hard for this mechanism. So yeah, this spring is real hard. <laughs> so it's making the switching action tough. Because the ball, the ball is real stiff against the paw, and switching isn't too easy. This is a paw, so it's a huge paw. Um, you usually don't see a, a paw this big. I don't think I don't I don't remember seeing one this big for a for a ratchet like a. The other craftsman ratchet I I broke down, I tore down this a uh, couple of days ago. And that was a half inch drive also. That one was small compared to this. This this is just huge. There you see the hole on the sides for the for the post. It's supposed to all go together like that supposed to go through the pole and the switch and the top of the switch so that could be a little tricky to do also when you're putting this back together oh it's two two teeth pole that's the bottom looks like a bat wing it's a bad wing pole, but a big one. <laughs> this is uh, what it looks like where the pole sits. It's a big area. Okay, now the fun part is to get this back together. Eventually, I'm gonna have to change out this spring, but for now. Uh, let me just use it. You take your spring, you drop it in the hole like that. You take your ball, put it on top of the spring. Now you take your paw, you drop it in the hole. Okay, what I try to do is get it at the 90 degree angle again. And remember, the teeth of the pole, the, the top of the pole is this way, so the switch has, the, the tip of the switch has to be that way. And I put this in on top, and I squeeze it down to get it in the hole. Okay, it's at 90 degrees, and this is at this is at a right angle to it, so we're good so far. Okay, now you take this top of the switch and you gotta line it up to for the hole. It's gonna be straight with the hole. Okay. Now you take your uh, 
your post. You put it, hopefully everything's lined up, and you stick it in. Good, okay, everything is lined up. And you press it down to where it's underneath, underneath the, the whole lip there. Okay, now you press the switch down to this position, its normal position. Okay, there we go. It should look like that. You take your gear, you put it in there. Take your retention ring, you thread that. Get it somewhat tight, you don't want to super torque it, then it's going to be a problem to get on. If you want to do put a punch like I did in, in a couple of taps, that would be fine. And you test it out, see if it's working. Yep, it's working. Okay, that's the teardown of the J.H. Williams & Co. S51 Super Ratchet. Alright guys, until next time. Bye.